All right, what's up guys? My name is Brad, AKA BRB Music. And today I will be giving you 10 tips on how you can grow your Instagram account as a rapper or musician, either one. These both, these apply to both. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get into that. All right, so I thought I'd go ahead and give an introduction for people who don't know me. So my Instagram is at BRB underscore music. And in 11 months, I've gained over 1,500 followers on there. So I know how to market my account. So I believe that I'll, I'll be able to help you. Um, well, I'll try my best at least. So here, I'll go ahead and get into the tips. All right, so number one, post consistently. Now this is key um, if you want to keep your followers engaged. But you want to have, you want to post probably anywhere between at least three to five times a week. That's the goal. Um, try not to go like more than like three days without posting. That's what I've learned. I mean, you can do whatever works best for you. But lately, I've been posting pretty consistently, like once every day or every other day, because um, that helps keep my followers engaged too. And um, so just try to post consistently and don't like take a long break without posting because if you take like a month off and then post something, your followers won't be used to engaging on your posts anymore. So then they, they probably won't comment on your stuff and you won't get as much as engage, as much engagement. Therefore, Instagram won't see it as a good of a post and won't show it to as many people. So yeah. All right, tip number two, use hashtags. Now this is probably one of the most important ones, but um, what you wanna do is you wanna use probably Rotate between like three to four groups of hashtags. I would recommend around 20 hashtags that are relevant to you as an artist. And um, I would recommend majority of them have around between 100 to 500,000 posts because in there you have a higher chance of going viral. And then a few below that and a few above that. So um, you still have a few on the top and a few on the bottom, but not too much. And then um, you wanna have one or two that relate to you and, your, you and your brand. For instance, for me, what I started using, I started using a hashtag BRB music because obviously that's my artist name. And so if people want to repost my music or stuff, they can just use that. Uh, shout out to T Bliss for that um, part of the tip, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say on that. All right, tip number three. Now this may not seem as important, but it actually makes a big difference in the long run. So what I'll recommend doing is putting your ha uh, hashtags in the first comment of your post, instead of just putting it in the caption at the bottom of your caption. Um, because if people see that you put your hashtags in your caption instead of your first comment, then it'll look a little bit more messy. But if you put it, a lot of times I or I always put my hashtags in the first comment of my post, and a lot of the times they'll get lost in the comments. Like you won't even see them once like people start commenting and stuff. So make sure to start implementing that. All right, and now it's time for tip number four: reply to every single comment on your post. Now this is really important. First of all, um, when you reply to comments on your post, it's not as important to the algorithm as when other people comment, but it still counts. And also, say you're scrolling through Instagram, right? And you see this artist, and you see he has maybe 40 comments or something, and you didn't reply to any of them. But if you reply to all of them, that I'll show that it has 80 comments. So it'll look a lot better for someone who's saying, oh, this guy has 200 views, but he has 80 comments. That's a really good ratio. Maybe I'll check him out. His stuff is probably legit if that many people are engaged. So it makes a huge difference. So make sure to start replying to every single comment that people comment. Even if it's hate, just, just say something. Just like be like, if people hate, just use it to mo use it to motivate yourself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Tip number five: Have an engaging caption. Now, once again, pretty much all of these are important, actually. So I'm not just gonna keep saying this is a major one, <laughs> but um, you gotta have an engaging caption. I always start off my post with a question, like if it's a freestyle, what do you think about this freestyle, or what do you think about a snippet, just stuff like that to get people engaged, and then I usually talk about it a little bit after that in the caption, just to give people a little story of what was going on behind the post. And um, so always have an engaging caption because if you just post a picture of yourself and be like, yo, no one's really gonna comment because there's nothing really for them to comment, you know? They're, you didn't give them anything to reply to, like no questions or anything. So I mean, always have an engaging caption. That will get you more comments than you think. It makes a huge difference. Tip number six, comment on hashtags that are relevant to you. Now this is really important because this is how you get discovered by people in your fellow community as well. So what I do is a lot of times like I go to like Christian hip hop hashtags or I'll go to like a producer hashtag sometimes too and I'll just comment on their stuff because and you can't just say oh fire oh dope man that's great man you gotta have like actually listen to the post or watch it and leave a comment that's relevant to it or maybe you can start off a conversation asking with a question like oh this this beat is really good man I really like the melody you used on this one how long have you been producing for or something like that I comment stuff like that sometimes so just try to do stuff like that and um, find hashtags that are relevant to you though. Don't just do something random like hashtag or hashtag rap is fine. I guess if you find like the right people, but I never really use that. Um, so yeah, so just find hashtags that are relevant to you. Number seven, utilize Instagram stories. Now this one, 
Okay, sorry. I, I need to stop saying this one is really important. <laughs> but um, this one is really important, actually. Um, so uh, whenever you post something new, um, there's an option on your post to click the send button, and you click add post to your story. Always add your post to your story because uh, more people that will, haven't seen your post because of the algorithm will see it on your story and will click to it if they're interested. And so it's almost just like free promo for your post. And also you can do polls on there to engage your fans and just ask questions. Like today I posted, um, would it help you guys if I posted a video on how to gain more Instagram followers? And there were 35 people that said yes and two said no. So that's a good ratio. So I was like, okay, I might as well do this. So that's just an example for you guys. All right, tip number eight. Engage with your current followers. Now this is huge. I mean, just think about it. If, no, if someone never comments on your stuff, are you gonna comment on theirs? Probably, I mean, maybe, but probably not. Because the thing is, if you comment on their stuff, go through your feed and comment on stuff, they're probably a lot more likely to comment and like when they see your post. So it's just like, what goes around comes around kind of, or the other way around, I kind of messed it up, but you get the point, so yeah. <laughs> Tip number nine, don't worry, we're almost done. <laughs> Um, but shout out your fans who show you a lot of support. Like, if anyone ever reposts any of my posts, I screenshot, I post it to their story, I screenshot it and post it on my story and say thank you, and I add them so people can, like, follow them if they want to. Um, because if, if you shout them out as well, they'll feel more supported, and, um, they'll probably listen to you more often. So it makes a small difference, but it's kind of big in the long run, so, yeah, I don't know if that made sense. Alright, we are at the final tip, tip number 10. Now, um... This is kind of something that you shouldn't do. It's not necessarily do this, but don't just spam promote your music. If you spam, pro if every single post, like every day you post, yo, go check out my new song, go check out my new song. My new song is out now. Yo, my new song is out. People are a lot less likely to check it out because they'll feel annoyed. They'll feel like you just spam. That's all you ever post about. Like I try to keep, uh, lately I've been checking on mine and I keep promoting my music to like every four or five posts. Like every like one out of every four or five. So I try my best to limit that so that way it doesn't feel like I'm just spamming promoting myself because then people will just get annoyed and probably not listen to me as much at all. So yeah. All right guys, well that's 10 tips on how you can grow your Instagram account as a musician slash rapper in 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want me to post more videos like this, let me know. This is my first kind of video doing this. Usually I just post my music uh, and my lyric videos on here. Um, so let me know if you liked it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, if you made it this far, comment BRB Music is fire uh, in the comments below. <laughs> well, uh, you don't have to if you don't think that, but um, just let me know if you made it this far. I appreciate you and peace out.